Hey guys, did you know that scientists recently discovered a new species of sea creature in the Antarctic? It's called the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star, and it's pretty weird looking. The Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star has 20 arms branching off of its central strawberry-like body. It can range in color from purplish to dark reddish. Researchers did not provide measurements of the animal's overall size, but it's definitely big enough to see with the naked eye. Scientists have discovered a new species of predatory fungus called Purpuriocilium in Brazil, which is similar to the zombie fungus from the video game The Last of Us. The fungus grows on dead spiders and kills them by mummifying their bodies. After death, it produces a fruiting body that releases more spores to spread the infection. This is the first new Purpuriocilium species discovered in over 20 years providing valuable insights into the evolution and ecology of these fascinating fungi. A new species of tarantula has been discovered in Iran, and it's a beauty. The Persian gold tarantula is named for its distinctive woolly, golden hairs. It's the first member of its genus to be found in Iran, and it's only the third tarantula species known to exist in the country. The Persian gold tarantula is a burrowing tarantula, and it makes its home at high altitudes in the lush mountainous areas of the northern Zagros Mountains. It's a relatively small tarantula, with females reaching a leg span of only about 5 inches. The Nyanga wrinkles is a new species of cobra-like snake that was recently discovered in Zimbabwe. Scientists identified the Nyanga wrinkles from a 1982 specimen, using new DNA extraction techniques. This new species, closely related to the wrinkles, has unique features like red markings between its scales. The last known sighting was in 1988, and no further specimens have been found. The extinction of the Nyanga wrinkles highlights the alarming rate of species loss and the need to protect biodiversity. The electric blue tarantula, Kylobrachis nade nicarum, is a newly discovered species of tarantula that is native to Thailand's mangrove forests. Its dazzling blue coloration is due to structural coloring, where tiny structures on the spider's body reflect light. Despite being relatively small and shy, the electric blue tarantula's habitat is threatened by deforestation. The discovery of the electric blue tarantula is a reminder of the importance of preserving natural habitats like mangrove forests, which are home to a wide variety of unique and important species. A new species of flying gecko has been discovered in India. This amazing creature is one of only 14 geckos in the world that can glide. It's called the Mazoram Parachute Gecko, and it's named after the Indian state where it was found. The Mazoram Parachute Gecko is about 20 centimeters long and has a brown and green body with dark spots. It has a flat tail and webbed feet, which it uses to glide from tree to tree. The gecko is active at night, and it lives in the forests of Mizoram. Scientists have discovered a new species of iguana in Argentina. The Aguada Pican iguana is about 8 inches long and has a robust and scaly body. The males have more showy colors than the females, with light brown bodies and sometimes light blue scales along their sides. The iguana lives in a hot desert environment in the Aguada Pican region of Argentina. It is a herbivore and eats plants such as cacti and grasses. The iguana is threatened by habitat loss and climate change. A new species of snake has been discovered in Peru and named after Harrison Ford in honor of his work for conservation. The Harrison Ford slender snake is about 1.3 feet long and has smooth, pale yellow-brown scales with scattered black blotches. It also has a black stripe on its head and copper irises with a vertical pupil. The snake has a keel, which is a ridge that runs along its back and sides. Scientists think the keel might help it swim or camouflage itself. The Harrison Ford slender snake is only known from the location where it was found, and it is possible that it is endangered. Madagascar is home to many unique and rare species of animals, including the newly discovered shiny-eyed leaf-tailed gecko. The shiny-eyed leaf-tailed gecko is a large lizard, reaching about 8.5 inches in size. It has a triangular head, 
a scaly body, and eyes that range from golden yellow to reddish. The gecko's body is covered in fringe, which helps it to camouflage itself against tree trunks. It is nocturnal and active at night, hunting insects and spiders. The shiny-eyed leaf-tailed gecko is a rare species and is threatened by habitat loss. Scientists have discovered three new species of bioluminescent sea worms off the coast of Japan. The worms are about an inch long and have transparent bodies. They were named after Japanese folk creatures that match their appearance and bioluminescence. The discovery of these new species is significant because it adds to our understanding of marine biodiversity and highlights the importance of continued research into the ocean. Two new species of planigales, the smallest marsupials in the world, have been discovered in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. The Kendricki planigale can weigh up to 12.5 grams and has a long, pointed snout. The Tilae planigale is much smaller, and it only weighs up to 6.1 grams. Both species are nocturnal predators that eat insects and other small animals. The discovery of these new species is important because it comes at a critical time for small mammals in Australia. Mishuria min, a newly discovered tiny crab spider found in China, has a yellow body and legs with green spots on its carapace and silver abdomen with yellow markings. It uses its long front legs to catch prey by sitting on a leaf or flower and pouncing on insects with its venom. A team of scientists has discovered seven new species of leaf insects, also known as walking leaves. These insects are masters of disguise and can look like leaves, twigs, or even bird poop. The scientists used genetic analysis to identify the new species, which were found in India, Vietnam, Borneo, Java, in the Philippines. The discovery is important for species conservation, as it means that some of the insects that were previously thought to be the same species are actually distinct. The tiger anemone is a new species of sea anemone that was recently discovered in Singapore. It is named for its striped appearance and its ability to swallow prey larger than itself. The tiger anemone is about 10 centimeters in diameter and has a pale pink body with brown stripes. It lives in shallow water in the Changi area of Singapore. The tiger anemone is a carnivore and uses its tentacles to capture prey, such as fish, shrimp, and crabs. Did you know that a new species of monitor lizard has just been discovered in Papua New Guinea? It's called the Louisiade monitor lizard, and it's about two feet long with a black scaly body and yellow spots. It's also got sharp claws and a blue tongue. The blue tongue of the Louisiade monitor lizard is used to attract prey, to intimidate predators, and to help the lizard regulate its body temperature. The discovery of the Louisiade monitor lizard is a reminder of the importance of biodiversity research in the tropics. The Wooming Leaf Litter Toad is a rare species of medium-sized toad found in Damingshan National Nature Reserve, China. It has pale brown skin and irregular dark brown markings, including an inverted triangle shape between its eyes and a lambda marking on its back. The toad uses two distinct advertising calls to attract mates and defend its territory. Threats to this rare species include habitat loss and pollution. A new species of razor wrasse, the Ineischus bakunawa, has been discovered in the Philippines and Western Australia. Named after the bakunawa, a serpentine figure in Visayan mythology, the fish is named after its white margin black spot on its dorsal fin. The Ineischus bakunawa is the first new razor wrasse to be described in over 20 years, highlighting the diversity of life in our oceans and the importance of protecting these creatures from extinction.